Matrix algebra is very important for engineers. I teach a whole course on matrix algebra. Um, in the differential equations course, we're also going to use matrices. Um, so I need to, uh, if you haven't had the, uh, taken the matrix algebra course, you need to know something about matrices. I can tell you uh, something in this in the next video. We can restrict just to two by two matrices. So that means a matrix that has two rows and two columns. So let's write down then our general two by two matrix would have uh, A, B in row one, C, D in row two. In column one, we have A, C. In column two, we have B, D. And let's look at another matrix, B. So we have A, B, C, D. So I can write E, F, G, H. So two, two by two matrices. Uh, the basic uh, matrix algebra, um, you can multiply a matrix, or let's talk about addition first. You can add these two matrices, A plus B. You just add them uh, uh, component-wise. So that means A plus E, B plus F, C plus G, and D plus H. Okay, so addition of matrices is straightforward. They have to be the same dimension. Here we're talking about two by two matrices, and you just add them, the uh, row one, column one, to row one, column one, row one, column two, to row one, column two, etc. Okay, then we have multiplication. We have two types of multiplication. We can multiply a matrix by a scalar, so k times a, so k here is just a number. We just define that as multiplying every element of A by K. So we have K, A, K, B, K, C, and K, D. Okay, the last um, algebra that we need to know is multiplication of matrices. You can multiply matrices um, A times B. Uh, you cannot multiply all matrices. Their dimensions uh, somehow have to match. You have to have the, um, uh, so A can have, uh, you have to have the number of columns of A equal to the number of rows of B. So you can multiply uh, these rectangular matrices if that's satisfied. In uh, the differential equations course, we'll only be talking about two by two matrices. So you can always multiply two, two by two matrices. We can write that out, A, B, C, D, uh, E, F, G, H. How do you do matrix multiplication? Well, you go across the rows of the first matrix and down the columns of the se second matrix. So you uh, do A times E, plus B times G, AE plus B, G. And then you go across the first row of the first matrix down the second column of the second matrix. So AF plus BH. And then CE plus DG. And then CF plus DH. Okay? Uh, after you do this a few times, you'll remember the point here is that across the first row down the first column gives you the element in the first row and first column. Across the first row down the second column gives you the element in the first row, second column. Across the second row down the first column gives you the element in the second row, first column. And uh, across the second row down the second column gives you the element in the second row and second column. Okay, an important thing to remember is that AB is not necessarily equal to BA, right? So equality is a special case.
okay, the general uh, two by two matrix. Uh, for the general two by two matrix, multiplication does not commute, okay? Very important point. Okay, now how are matrices uh, useful in this course? Um, they're useful because you can write a system of linear equations in matrix form. So we can write, uh, let's start with a system of linear equations. We can have, um, I'm going to write it in using a nice matrix notation. We can have A11 times X1 plus A12 times X2 equals a B1. That's equation, a linear equation for X1 and X2. A11 and A12 are just numbers. B1 is just a number. Uh, we can write another linear equation. A21 times X1 plus A22 times X2 equals B2. So this is a system of two linear equations and two unknowns. X1 and X2 are the unknowns. The A's and the B's are supposed to be given. We can use our matrix multiplication to write this as a matrix equation. So this matrix equation is A11, A12, A21, A22 times X1, X2. A column vector, we say this column vector is two by one, two rows, one column, equals a column vector B1, B2, right? We can go through the matrix multiplication. A11, X1 plus A12, X2 equals B1. That's the first equation. A21, X1 plus A22, X2 equals B2. That's the second equation. Okay, so a system of linear equations can be written as a matrix equation. Um, you see how I wrote this. I had A11 and A12. The first index means row one. The second index means the column, so column one and column two. Row two, A21, column one, A22, column two. Okay, shorthand. We write that as a matrix equation. This is our matrix A times our vector or column matrix X is equal to our vector or column matrix B. So AX equals B. A system of linear equations can be written as AX equals B. How do you solve this? So formally, uh, we can uh, take the inverse of that matrix. So if we have uh, A times A inverse, that's supposed to be equal to the identity matrix. So the identity matrix in the two by two case is one, zero, zero, one. Okay, you can see that this matrix, when you multiply uh, this matrix by A, either on the right or the left, you get back A. So if this was a true statement, we can multiply on the left and the right by A inverse. Uh, it is a true statement, but the problem is, is that A inverse doesn't always exist. So if A inverse does exist, we can write X equals A inverse times B. So we can solve this equation for X. But this is not always possible. This is possible only if the determinant of A is not equal to zero. So A inverse, A, we say that A is invertible, meaning it has an inverse, only if determinant of A is not equal to zero. So how do we define the determinant of A? Well, for our two by two matrix, we can do this calculation, try and figure out when A is an invertible matrix. And when we do that, we get the determinant of A is the product of the diagonal elements, A11 
times a2,2 two, two, minus the product of the off diagonal elements, a1,2 times a2,1. Okay? Determinants. Determinants are, uh, determinant of a matrix is a number, a very useful number, which tells us when the matrix is invertible. And it also then, because it tells us when the matrix is invertible, when the matrix is not invertible, then, we, then this matrix equation, Ax equals B, can either not have a unique solution or it can have no solution. Both things can happen. Okay, so this is a whirlwind tour of matrices. We have one more video for the information we need in this course. Let me review. Uh, in the differential equations course, you only need to know about two by two matrices. Here are two two by two matrices. I call capital A and capital B. You can add them, you can multiply by a scalar, and you can multiply two two by two matrices. And you go across the row of the first one and down the columns of the second one. Be careful when you do matrix algebra. Uh, matrix multiplication doesn't uh, commute for all matrices. And in general, AB is not equal to BA. Uh, the usefulness of matrices, uh, particularly in the differential equations course, is you can write a system of equations as a uh, matrix equation. So here we have two linear equations and two unknowns. We can write that as AX equals B as a matrix equation. And then if we ask when is there a solution here, there's a solution when A is an invertible matrix, when you can find the inverse of A such that A times A inverse equals the identity matrix. The identity matrix is the two by two matrix that if you multiply that matrix by A on either side, you get back that matrix. Okay, so A times I is equal to A. If A was invertible, then you can multiply AX equals B on the left by A inverse and write formally X equals A inverse B. That's only possible if the determinant of A is not equal to zero. Uh, the determinant of an N by N matrix is well defined. Here we only need it for a two by two matrix and it's just the product of the diagonal elements minus the product of the off diagonal elements. Uh, the next video we'll talk about eigenvalues and eigenvectors. I'm Jeff Chasnov. Thanks for watching.